Today I will show you how I create and extract photos, still images from my videos that can be used on Instagram as Instagram posts, Instagram carousels, but also that I use as uh, thumbnail images for my content on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna go through the camera settings. I'm also gonna show you how I actually extract the still images in a video editing software, which is Adobe Premiere Pro, and also how I color grade and edit those still frames in a color correction software, which is Adobe Lightroom. So it's gonna be a very creative and fun session and I can't wait to see you after the intro. Hello, welcome to a new video. Thanks for tuning in. Today it's gonna to be fun, as I mentioned. At the moment, I'm not owning a photo camera. I only have a video camera, which is right there. And if you are in my own situation where you own a video camera and not a photo camera, but you still need to take photos or you want to take photos for your Instagram, YouTube thumbnails and so on, and you are a self shooter, so you usually commute and travel on your own and you don't have anyone that can snap a photo for you, then you might be interested in this vlog because I'm gonna share my tricks on how I actually take photos when I'm on my own with a video camera. I'm using a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K in portrait mode. That camera, it's not a photo camera, it doesn't have a timer, I can't set it with an auto shutter, so literally I can't take photos on my own, especially if the camera is five meters away, like now. Let's say I'm working on a promo for my clothing brand, which actually I do have, and you wanna check it out at wefew.net, link in the description and down here. So I'm filming this promo in my studio and I'm using camera settings at 24 frames per second, the shutter speed 1 48th of a second, ISO 200 and aperture fully open at 1.8 or f1.8. But also I want to create a thumbnail for this promo I'm filming. So I need to change the settings of the camera first. And the first tip is that if you're actually filming something, I recommend to stop, so, so stop filming your promo, your video, and think about the thumbnail only for now. So think about still frames. And that's when you need to change the settings of your camera. So you need to be prepared to create actually the still shots. Today we're going to create three sets or three different photos for three different products, which are the hoodies. Today we're taking photos in studio, but you can apply the same process and the same principles even if you're doing landscapes, so if you need some photos of landscapes, or if you're doing some action, maybe some sports, you can just follow this process and possibly achieve some good shots. So let's change these settings on the camera. And first of all, I was filming my video in full HD, and now I'm switching to 4K. So that allows me to have a better resolution and play with the image a bit more. So if something is wrong with my image, I can actually crop it or modify it better than the full HD resolution. So that's the first setting I usually change on my camera, 4K. In terms of frame rate, I'm keeping the 24 frames per second for now because I'm in a studio, I'm not doing quick movements or anything. So 24 frames is good for me. And also the shutter speed 1 48th is okay because once again, I just choose a pose and hold it for one or two seconds. This is the other tip, if you are doing some action, so maybe you wanna do a backflip and you wanna take a selfie of that backflip, then you want to increase the shutter speed. So make your shutter speed higher and faster. So you might wanna go to one 500th of a second or one 1,000th of a second. Also, you can do this for wildlife, so you really need to have a quick shutter to make sure you can grab one frame from your video and turn it into a still image. And why is that? Because if you have a slow shutter speed, you're going to create too much motion blur and you're not gonna able to use a freeze frame from your video because it will be blurred out. So you really want to have a sharp image to be used 
as a photo, as a still. All the other settings of my camera can stay the same unless the light conditions are changing. Maybe you can increase or decrease the ISO and the aperture of your camera. But the important thing here, guys, is the shutter speed. Right, this is my first setup, lighting setup. I'm showcasing the establishment hoodie. This is the first hoodie I produced. As you can see, the, the brand colors are orange, black, and white. So I really want the orange to stand out. And that's why I recreated this white setup. I put the camera on portrait mode because I want to showcase the full hoodie first. That's my very first shot of the carousel. I'm going to use a smoke machine to give some coolness to the shots. I've got five lights, two Godox and three Cine light uh, tubes that you can all check in the description or check my reviews up here. What I would do next is to press rec on my camera and then choose a pose and hold it for a few seconds. As you can see, the smoke started. <laughs> So I'm gonna switch the camera to 4K. If you're posing, and I'm sure you're gonna tell me I'm a poser, just keep that pose for uh, one or two seconds, and then you can swap the pose and try a few things out, and I'm sure you will get something good at the end. Okay, first pose. So I've taken the first shot, which was the wider to show the whole hoodie. And now we're going to details. So I moved my camera forward. As you can see here, I switched the lens. It was a 7200, now I'm using a 16 to 35. And I want to focus and highlight this feature of the hoodie, which is the thumb hole. So you can use it in winter as a kind of a gloves, you know, replacement. So the shot I want to do is a close-up of the thumb hole. So I'm gonna go here, close to the camera. Somewhere there. In this kind of position, and I'm gonna focus here. So you can still see a bit of the rest of the hoodie, but in particular, you're noticing the thumb hole there, and you can still see a bit of my face over there. So I'm gonna hide the microphone, pull the focus, and now we're gonna take the shots. And this is gonna be the shot number three, another detail. I want to focus on the logo, still having myself here in the shot. So low angle this time, 1635, fully open at 16 millimeters, something like that. I've just finished to film the first three photos, part of the first carousel I'm gonna upload on Instagram, and I prepare the lighting setup for the carousel number two. Different colors, different hoodie as well. And here comes the other tip. I want to talk to you about the format of your images. Okay, a bit of smoke, why not? This is quite a very important tip actually because you want to think about the format of your photos beforehand so during the filming process or during the photography shoot you want to choose portrait mode or landscape mode and you want to have this in mind before your final result because some photos can actually work as a thumbnail in landscape but they will not work in portrait mode and vice versa so make sure you have in mind what you want to achieve now that you understood how i take photos during the filming of my project i'm gonna skip the next two carousels the next two photography sets and actually you can see the final photos on my instagram page so make sure you go and follow me there at mamo air now we're going to download the files check the videos and grab the frames we need i have downloaded my files and i open adobe premiere pro which is my video editing software if you have a different software just open it up i'm sure there's an option for you to export still frames from your videos. What I'm gonna do now is to double click on one of the files which were shot on B-RAW, which is the raw file of my video camera. I double click on it to check the file here on the program panel, the source panel. And I'm literally scrolling through the video to pick some of the frames I like and some of the frames that I'm gonna use as photos of my Instagram. This one is pretty cool already. Of course, I need to rotate it after all, but I like the smoke, so it could work. I can see the full hoodie. Maybe this one with a cheeky smile and I'm more centered and still I have the smoke covering 
the black part of the hoodie which is nice so a lot of contrast when i'm happy with it what i do from the source panel is to press shift e on the mac computers or also you can go down here in the source panel and click on export frame as you can see premiere is suggesting to use shift e that's what i'm going to do click it and then you can browse where to save your frame i'm going to do only one with you guys just to show you the process but it's it's the same for all the other photos so you can choose the format you want i sh i choose jpeg and i'm going to browse in my folders where to save my image which is in my youtube thumbnail folder and images so here i'm going to save all the images that work for me that i can use as photos click on choose and press ok and that's my first still frame saved as a jpeg from my videos great now i'm going to the folder where i just exported these still photos and i just double check they are here one two and three nice i select them all control to open up it's a right click basically so right click on the image and now i'm going to open the images with my color grading software which is adobe lightroom so i go here and open with other i'm going to choose the software application lightroom classic and always open with lightroom and i'm going to open up this free photo so the series of three i'm going to import them and now I'm going to go quickly through the color correction. If you want to check the proper vlog I've done on how I color grade my photos, go and check it here. What we're going to do is uh, to rotate those photos first. And we're going to start with the first one. So that's going to be a lot of fun. First of all, I add some clarity. There you go. The photo just pops out and the smoke pops up as well. I, I like it already bit of highlights and some shadows as well to create more contrast some whites you just play with things and of course I need some saturation to really show the orange of the hoodie so I'm gonna go down here in the color mixer and there you go add some red and orange maybe delete the yellows which they never play a good role and uh, I'm already happy with it. What I'm gonna do next, as I want to create a square format for Instagram, but again, that depends on your platform, and I can't really do what I wanna do here in Lightroom, I'm going to send this file to Photoshop. So as you can see, the process can take two or three different softwares, but I have a membership with Adobe, so I can use all the softwares they have. So I right click on the photo and choose edit with Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to modify a copy of my Lightroom photo. So you can choose here different options, click on edit, and now my computer is opening up Photoshop with this photo. Here's my picture, it's looking good. What I want to do is to crop it in a one by one aspect ratio, but also I need to add some background to do so. So let's crop it first one by one, and then we're going to add the background. I need to unlock the layer, double click on it, click on the crop, icon and I'm just going to take the right size to cover the whole hoodie and center my character something like that I really like it and I'm going to press OK to crop it now some of the background is missing here because we shot in portrait mode but it's quite easy to do it in Photoshop I just take a selection of the background because it's all white this way is going to work out transform it with ctrl t and just increase the size of the background and there i am and i'm going to do the same on this side luckily you don't see the smoke so that's not going to be an issue we're going to do the same thing just increase the size of the background deselect it and the photo is ready to go you can add a vignette you can do whatever you want but i'm quite happy with it so that's the process how I take some still frames from a video. If you want to see the final results, once again, go on my Instagram where I'm going to post these photos in the next three days, so three different carousels. If you want to learn more about content creation in general, video editing, video making, 
graphic design, go and check my online courses. I really hope to see you there and I hope you're gonna join the other hundred of students that enroll to my courses. If you want to use these photos as thumbnails, now I just need to add the title, change the aspect ratio again if I want to and put it on YouTube. If you want to get Adobe Creative Cloud, the whole package or just individual software, go to the description tab, you will find a link that will direct you to the website. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Memories fall up the road